morning, good morning and welcome to today's video. My name is Emma, stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats and if you are new here we are a Disney loving family. We've been to Paris, we've been to Florida several times, we've been on cruises and you are joining us for the pack with me or pack with us going to Florida. We are going to Florida for two weeks. In fact, whilst you're watching this sat in your lovely house, we are boiling in Florida. So definitely go and check me out on Instagram, Boy Mummy of Two, and you'll be able to follow our adventures. I'll be posting loads of stories and tips. We are also going to visit Universal. So I'm hopefully going to be able to post some stuff to do with Halloween Horror Nights. We're not attending because the kiddos are still a bit too small, but we'll be going around and having a look at the scare zones during the day. And today, I am going to do the ultimate pack with me, pack with us. It's starting, I'm going to be showing you what I use to pack, I'm going to be showing you some outfit inspo, if you are a woman a similar sort of size and age as me, or just like, if you're just a person that likes to wear Disney clothes, you might enjoy that little portion of the video. I will leave timestamps, you can watch the whole thing with a cuppa, or you can skip to the bit that you want to watch. Um, I'm also going to be showing you kind of what toiletries we take, what stuff we'll pack in our park bags, any extra things that I think it would be good for you to take um, if you're planning on going that we haven't taken before and we're taking this time because we've been a few times, we've learnt a few lessons, we've sweated a lot of sweat. So we, uh, we've got a good idea of what we've got to take. So let's off, start off, first of all, I'm just looking outside, it's very humid, I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to thunder a little bit. Um, do you know what though? Packing might listen to a bit of Halloweeny spooky music with a bit of thunder outside. Sounds like a very cosy afternoon, so I'm very glad that we're spending this time together. But first of all, I will show you what kind of stuff we take all our Disney belongings into Florida. Let's go! Right, my loves, I first of all will show you the cases that we use. We use American Tourista cases. We have used these now, oh, probably on holidays for about six years maybe. They are getting a little bit bashed and one of them, I think somewhere along the line, has lost a wheel. I think you can buy replacements. They're great cases, they're very hardy, brilliant. I will say, when we first used these cases, not many people use these kind of cases. Now, lots of people use these kind of cases, so we do add ribbon on to each case so we don't get confused because as I said when we first used them we were like oh we're like really cool and now everyone's got them we're all cool together this is another one we take two of the large touristers we take two of the medium touristers I think we've got a Mickey and a Minnie oh, and a Donald maybe and also I would when I show the hand luggage I've recently bought a mini one which was from Costco and was a really really good deal I am a person that absolutely flipping loves packing cubes and I always get asked, can you link your packing cubes? I just get any off Amazon. Not had a disaster with any of them yet. None of these are from the same places. And I've also ordered some Amazon basic ones that are upstairs that I've packed um, my 12 year old stuff in. We have different colors. Stephen doesn't like packing cubes. <laughs> So I tend to use these ones and then the kids use those, but we've somewhere along the line we've lost them. I also take this bag o, which I've had for many years for our toiletries. Yes, guys, I do take a washing basket. And this year it's going to be a little bit different because, my friends, I have decided I'm going to do some washing whilst I'm there. And you're like, Emma, washing in Walt Disney World seems an absolutely insane idea. And I say to you, yes, but I also say to you, <laughs> Four people, so that's four, so we're say we're taking 15 pairs of pants each, because you never know, you might have an accident, that's what happens, that's what happens. So you're looking at at least 60 pairs of pants, you're looking at least like 60 pairs, I just thought I'm going to take half the pants, half the socks, and halfway through the holiday I'm going to do a wash, I'm going to wash underwear, I'm going to wash pyjamas. That is my plan and I will take you along in the vlogs to show you how easy it is to do that. Um, but I am going to take a washing basket, this goes on every holiday, whether we're going to a caravan in Cornwall or we're going to Florida. I take this washing basket, it makes life really, really easy, great to shove the dirty washing in and yeah, 
You can get them in Home Bargains, you can get them in um, B&M, usually a couple of quid. So that's one of the most important things I pack. Yes, I'm a nerd. Other things that I will pack to take toiletries. These are usually just nice toiletries bags that I've got free with things, basically. So I've got an iconic one that I got with some iconic makeup. And I've got one that I got with some shampoo, which will be for our suntan lotion. Um, I also got this from Amazon, which is what I take all plugs in and plug sockets. Um, so, you know, we do need to make sure. There's been trips where I've forgotten plugs and plug sockets and all sorts of things like that. So we do need to make sure we've got these with us because I don't want to have to go around and buy them. So that is what I use to pack and I will show you what's going on upstairs in the dreaded cloth-office. This upstairs, I'm so happy we've got our space like this. Our loft was, half of it's still a loft, so we've got all like storage and storage boxes and stuff, and half of it is an office and I'm really, really fortunate that this is the space where I can do things like get stuff ready for holidays, I can do things like wrap birthday presents, so it's a little bit messy. <laughs> this is what we're working with guys i have been collating outfits this is my section I, as i said i've already packed my daughter's stuff and then this is my son's stuff which we're going to pack together and i will show you some of the outfits i'm going to take i did do a video showing some bits and pieces as well this is our park bag and this will be stephen's bag you we got this the last time we went to Walt Disney World. It is a brilliant bag. It's got loads of places to put drinks. It's got um, a battery charger. Ooj me flop. Not sure how it works. I don't know how that works. What do I do? Anyway, it's got one of them. <laughs> it's got that on it so you can um, put it onto your case. It's got like a little secret pouch here. I think this maybe was about $50. And as I said, we bought this on our last trip. So that is a really, really great bag and Stephen will have that on the plane and he will also have that around the parks on a daily basis. And this is my new beautiful hand luggage. And this was from Costco and apologies. I'm sure if you watch the Costco vlog, you will remember. I feel like it was around 50 or 60 pound, but if you bought it on the site, it's like 135 pound, which is crazy for a tiny case. I know I will get a lot of use out of this. We recently went to London and we used it then. And actually, this is going to be the bag where I pack most of our like mini ears, uh, Mickey ears, a couple of lounge fly bags. So that will be going with me in the hand luggage. And I think that little tiny case is going to make a lot of difference. But let's take this stuff downstairs. Okay, here we go. I like to pack in outfits. Um, the underwear is going to go in a separate packing cube. Um, I do wonder if on this holiday we may just like, we're all kind of like got, I mean, apart from Stephen's got giant feet, we've all got similar sort of size feet, so I don't know, it might just be grab a pair of socks, but anyway. So if you are going to Florida or Disneyland Paris during the summer, the best outfits to take really are just t-shirts and shorts. They are perfect. Um... You can wear, you know, there's all sorts of different variety of fun t-shirts you can buy. You can get ones from Shop Disney. This was in a sale. You can get them from Next in the sale. You can get them from, this was from Zara in the sale. If, uh, if you've got a Disney trip booked, whether it's in six months, 18 months, two years, just keep your eyes out in the sale. That's what I do. So I packed lots of t-shirts and shorts. I've also packed some tops for if we're going to Disney Springs and he'd like to wear something a bit different. So I've got a few Hawaiian shirts. These are all from Primark. This was from the H&M sale and this was also from H&M. So just some tops, non-Disney tops. I've um, got another top here. Also, I've got one pair of pyjamas, which is a Disney pair of pyjamas. Two pairs of swimming trunks and then a vest in case, you know, it's very, very sunny. We're going to a water park and he wants, you know, not run the risk of getting sunburnt. As I said, I plan to wash and tumble dry the pyjamas, also the socks. I've got these from Primark, lots of Marvel pairs of socks. There's a Harry Potter pair somewhere as well. So this is all of 
my son's stuff. He's also got a goofy ears. He's got Mickey Mouse ears and he's got a couple of baseball caps as well, which we'll be taking. And what colour shall I go for? I might start with the dark blue and then he can move into, because Erin's is all in green, which is upstairs. So I am going to roll and fold all these up. So what I do is this. I open it out. So when you use packing cubes, you roll, you don't fold. So, and then you just roll each outfit like that. And then they go in like that. So don't fold it, you roll it. I mean, you can fold it. There's no rules, there's no rules. Who am I? I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. So I'm going to get that done now. So let's see. Can we have a look at how all of this looks in the packing cubes in three, two, one. Hey! <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it so much. Um, so these are his clothes. I've put socks, underwear, and I think pajamas are in there. There's still a bit of room if we need to put some more in. And here is swimming costumes. Again, there's still a bit of room. I've also added a baseball cap. And this brings us on nicely to our next section, which is going to be like things I think you should take if you are going to a Disney World holiday. This. I got from a company called Mini Mac in a Sack. Mac in a, what's the company called? I think it's just Mac in a Sack. When we go to Florida, it's going to rain. I often get asked the best time of year to go to Florida, so I will let you know my thoughts now. Easter is absolutely beautiful weather. I can, we've been at Easter, we've been at May, which we call Whit Week, and we've also been at August. Easter was beautiful weather. Last time we went was Easter. It didn't rain a drop like not one single drop the whole time we were there. It was beautiful. May was quite warm, but again, not too bad. August is going to be hot and rainy. Also, it's cheaper. <laughs> um, so it is really vital that you have something whilst you're there. Look, nothing's vital. When you, you're going to America, there are places to buy things. You can buy, you know, Macs there. You can buy brollies there. If you get there and you don't own one single Disney t-shirt, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Target. If you're not hired a car, you can get in an Uber or a Lyft and you can go and get one. Um, go to a shop for not not too much money. Um, Uniqlo at Disney Springs also does Disney t-shirts, reasonably priced, kind of like $13. It's fine, it's fine. In the parks, you can buy a little Mac and a Bolly. It's gonna be a lot more expensive than getting one in England. So I'm taking for both of mine a Mac in a sack. They've both got one each. Um, I just can't remember what color my girls is, but they've both got one each. So I'm packing these and these will go in our park bags so that if it rains, we can just pop it out and they can put it on. So we're prepared. It's definitely gonna rain. But yeah, I'll show you my, what I believe to be essentials. You don't have to take them if you don't want to, but I think it's gonna make our trip to Walt Disney World Florida a lot easier this time. <laughs> Let's pop you on a little plant. There we go, my loves. As I said, these are things that I, I'm gonna take this time and if you wanna take them, take them, and I think it might make your life easier, uh, especially maybe if you're going with a family and you don't wanna spend a million pounds when you're there. So, you can get these on Amazon. I lost our original one, so I had to re-buy when we went to last time. These are brilliant for when you're going to water parks, if you're having pool fun. They are little camera holders. I've heard you can buy them on Shein. I've heard you can buy them on Amazon. I can't vouch for how brilliant they are, but this is a great one. This is H2O Odyssey. You can buy this in the Disney water parks and we take this on every holiday we go. Now you just shut it like that and you can take some brilliant footage and just some really good memories. So highly recommend that you take one of these. Also, I've got this, it needs a battery in. This was from Home Bargains. You can buy something similar in Target. You can buy something similar in the park with Disney on, but this was like a pound or something. You put water in and you just spray and it will make, it will cool your child down. Unsure of how it's going to work, I will let you know in the vlogs, but we are taking one of those with us. We are taking two of these. This is a lifesaver in Florida. It is a handheld 
fan and you just charge it in the room. Oh my gosh, it's, oh hang on. And then a hero comes along with a strength to carry on. <laughs> now you feel it feeling. When was the last time I charged this? Still got charging it. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is a beauty. She is beauty, she is grace. Um, these are brilliant. If you are eating, like if you're in Epcot and you're eating or something, you can stand that in front. Look, I do wonder if people are going, but I'm really worried that you're saying it's so hot. It is hot, but you just need to be prepared and it's fine. We wouldn't be going if we knew we weren't gonna have a flipping great time. So grab yourself one of these. I've got a black one and I've also got a pink one. So we will be taking these two with us, charging them at night, popping them in our bags. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Brolly, must take a brolly. Even if you go in, in a kind of, a not so rainy season, I take a brolly. Just remember when you get to the parks, you have to hold out in front. If you keep it in your bag, you are gonna be checked to security. So always have your brolly out in front, say that. No, I'll forget, I know I'll forget. I am taking this with us for the hotel room. I put this on my Instagram and somebody said, we're taking 20. Squash is not that easy to find. You can get some maybe in Walmart, it's just not as easy to find in England. In England, we drink a lot of squash, especially our family. So I just got this from Aldi and this will make 20 glasses. So we can, you can like have, take it into the parks and squirt it into your water bottles or whatnot. But um, you might want to take a little bit of squash if you don't want to drink a fizzy pop all day and you're not a huge fan of plain water. This is new for 2023. I've not taken these before. Even though I did buy these for the last trip, I never took them. We are taking reusable straws. It, they don't have plastic straws in Walt Disney World. They have like um, kind of cardboardy straws, which are great and they're fine. If you're having a slush puppy, that, it, it just disintegrates and you can't get anything out. So I'm gonna take these and put them in the little bag. I'll probably just take two and the kids can have them because otherwise they're just like, I can't get any of the slush out, mommy. You're like, oh gosh, goodness me. What else have we got, okay? Again, new for 2023. I am taking these, I got them off Amazon. They're little clips that you clip onto your bag. How on earth, oh, so you unscrew that. Click it on your mouth like that and you can carry your Disney cup around all day, or maybe a water bottle. You can attach it to your bag rather than having to hang, uh, you know, hang on to it. And this was a request from Stephen. He's like, can I have a couple of those? So he will have those. Um, it says not for climbing in case I thought I was gonna attach this to a rope and scale a Mount Everest in Animal Kingdom. Good job that was on there, because I'd have been climbing up that mountain. What else have we got? Autograph books, we were taking autograph books, much cheaper to get in England than to get in the parks. However, these are park ones, but we, the last time we went, you weren't allowed to meet characters for the first half of the holiday. So these were 99 cents, 99 cents, so under a dollar. And then in the second half of the holiday, you could meet characters and they, whopped those prices back up again. So we're taking the same. We're taking the same autograph books. They've not been used very much. Um, really great. You don't have to have an autograph book. You just have a normal pad. You could, I've seen people get like frames signed, bags signed, um, but it's just a super, super fun thing to have. If you have been to a park before, don't forget you can reuse your magic bands. In the old, good old days, you used to get free magic bands and you don't get free magic bands anymore. So this is my original magic band and on the back of it, it says mummy. And so that was good. And then you could, for a small fee, not very much I feel, you could get certain magic bands and Stephen got this Thanos one and it says Steenos <laughs> on it. So you can reuse your old magic bands. I actually think you can use your Apple watch as well. Um, so we will be taking those and do remember if you do buy magic bands and you get the kids magic bands you can I don't 
don't know how to show you can actually peel off the gray bit there and it makes them smaller so this is an adult's magic band but we peeled it off to make it smaller um for ethan and this on the back of this haunted mansion one it says creethan which i think i thought sounded like creepy it's a good date there uh, one more thing that you might want to take is if you're going to do some pin trade and it's super fun I've chatted about it loads on the channel um, you can buy pins on the shop Disney sale or when you get to the theme parks they are more expensive and you can trade pins with characters scrap that cast members in hotels in shops Disney Springs um, they've got to be specific trading pins um, um, not just any old random pin is what some of the stuff I think would make your life a little bit easier but as I said you go into America you can get all this stuff when you get there and if you want to turn up and wing it turn up and wing it I ain't a winging kind of gal I'm an organization kind of gal uh, I'm gonna pack Ethan's stuff and then should we go through mummy's outfits because she's the most important yes I did talk in the third person I'm sorry what we will do for the bits that I am packing is we will go upstairs I think because it makes no sense to drag all my big old clothes downstairs and um, we'll pack upstairs and then it's easier to bring the packing bags down thankfully it's just started having a bit of a drizzle it's so muggy um <laughs> so muggy it's gonna even be even hotter up here isn't it <gasps> Loved. um let me just get back in focus guys so what I've been doing is I have been laying my outfits out with ears. I did a try on and I'm going to insert some clips whilst I'm speaking so you can see what the outfits look like if you want to get a little bit of inspiration. I did put up a short on here but I'll have a little chat through as well. So I want to take 14 outfits. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I need two, I think I'm just going to shove in like two little frocks as well maybe. Um, that is the plan, but let me chat through some of the outfits a little bit more. If you've not, <laughs> oh look at all the little Mickeys living their best lives. Gosh, if you've not if you've not if you've not seen this channel before, you'll be like, gosh, she really is a Disney fan. Um, if you have not seen my face before, you're a little bit wonky. Uh, I love a midi dress. I love like a long dress. But what I found is sometimes that kind of like I don't know how to describe it. Like sucks up the heat. It's so strange. It like goes, and you're then just walking around with like heated nethers we don't want heat no no one's heating nethers so i will show you some of the outfits that i am going to be taking um i have decided i am going to be taking vest kind of bralettes rather than bras because again it can get i find bras get quite hot um i will tmi i'll be rinsing these out i'll have to rinse them out because i want to make sure i'm nice and fresh so i've got these from primark and i have i'm going to take probably about five of these um, I just think it'll be a lot, I don't know, it'll just be, I feel, I'll think I'll feel fresher. I might take, do you know what, I might take one bra, just on the off chance. This is one of the outfits, and I'll put a little clip up, that is very different for me. Um, I'm going down the cycling shorts and oversized t-shirt look. If you can hear any pitter-patter in it, it's rain. These are from Simply B, and anything polka dot is perfect anything polka dot is just ideal for disney so you'll see a lot of polka dots so i have got polka dot shorts with that hat and this t-shirt which is from the disney 100 range in h and I, I am worried this is going to be oh, like it's quite a thick material it's a goofy one so that is a very different look for me i'll wear it with tevas and uh i won't get chub rub because i will have shorts on so that'll be really good if i don't wear it with a hat because it's too hot i will wear it with some ears like that some nice 
have a little look at my ears. Some nice ears. They are old uh, Primark. I get asked a lot of questions about where it's best to get ears from. You can get them in Primark, you can get them in Shop Disney Sale, you can get them in the parks, but if you get them in the parks, do be warned, they are just gonna be a lot more expensive. So maybe take ears with you. Um, what's another outfit? For Animal Kingdom, I again, I'm going with a bralette, but I'm going full. Somebody did, and, and I get it. And I'm on your side. It's clashing animal prints, and that probably is not great but it is what it is it's just like a little dress with some cycling shorts again that should be you know keep me relatively cool what other little outfits can i take you this is a really nice oh no what was the one that i showed and everybody loved it oh yeah it's this one. Oh, there's another outfit here because this, this is going to be one with two different t-shirts this is old sheen if you find a mustard skirt, mustard is great for Disney because mustard and red is very Disney bound. And if you don't know what Disney bounding is, it's dressing sort of similar to a character but not crossing the line of fancy dress. So we've got that and with that I have got a couple of t-shirts. This t-shirt is literally me in a t-shirt. I'm here for the photos. Perfection. And it is the softest material. This is a Disney Parks t-shirt the softest material you could ever imagine and then this is an old zara t-shirt and that will go nicely with that as well um be sure if you are if your thighs like hanging out together like we're hanging out together they're like you know being clothes make sure you think of chub rub so i like to wear snag shorts if you go to my instagram there's a whole reel about how i combat my chub rub I like to wear snag shorts. You can put baby lotion, um, no, not baby lotion. That's not, you'll be slip sliding all over the place. Um, what's it called? Talcum powder. That helps as well, but the liquid talcum powder really helps. So definitely bear that in mind. Other outfits I am going to be taking are um, up here. Really cute red spotty dress. Again, if you see anything like this on Boohoo, sometimes in the sale. So for example, you've got your holiday plan for next year or the year after. You can start looking at the sale now. Little spotty frock. With some more cycling shorts. And this is one of my lounge fly bags, one of my favorite lounge fly bags. Absolutely love this. I think this makes any outfit just look so cute. So I really like that. It's hands, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you're like, Emma, we can see that hands. And I'm like, but some people, some people didn't know it was hands, but it's, it's Mickey going like that. I am 45, guys, I am 45. And um, what else can I show you? I'll have put some outfits here so you can see some inspiration. I have got a couple of lounge fly bags that I will be taking. I, this is not mine, this is my daughter's, but if, you are interested in lounge fly bags so lounge fly bags are very popular they come in all sorts of different patterns lots of disney ones you can get harry potter ones you can get all sorts of different people hey pops out Hello. this is my little girls uh you i tend to wait for them to go in the shop for disney sale and they do if you keep your eye open um i tend to wait for them to go in the shop disney sale and then i might say to Stephen oh do you want to get me this for Christmas and he can get it and put it aside because they are quite expensive they're great for tweeny kiddos they're not like you can't fit a load in but you could fit like you know your fan in a little mac a brolly, an autograph book, so it's quite good for a park, and they're very cute. And if you've got a really nice one, and people do tend to go, oh hello, it looks nice. Other holidays, I've also taken Primark bags, and people have loved those because obviously in America, not there are a few Primarks, but it's a bag that a lot of people won't have seen, so people do get quite excited when they see 
a little cheeky Primark bag they've not seen before. Like the cast members like, wow. And one last thing I think I will show you before I pack my stuff is I'm just taking not all Disney stuff this time. I'm like taking outfits that I can wear with ears and if I take them off it's just n looks like a normal outfit. This is from Marks and Spencers. Um, and I just, it's just a very nice lightweight pink and orange flowery dress that will be easy to chuck on with some ears. I've got some snag shorts to go underneath it in this kind of, kind of a little matches a little bit. These are old. Uh, so I don't, you don't feel like you have to wear Disney. If you don't want to wear Disney, that's cool. You don't have to. Stephen will sometimes, but also other times won't. And of course, if you're just more of a shorts and t-shirt kind of girl, that's fine as well. I've got shorts, t-shirts. I just like, I wear dresses in my normal everyday life. So I'm gonna pack this now. And then me and you are going to decide together what mini ears I'm going to take because I need to whittle it down. I don't want to be buying any when I'm there. I might buy a pair when I'm there. I can't promise that. Obviously, we're going to be in Florida in August, start of September, but that is Halloween season. So I just thought I'd show you these really cute, and I have been tagged in these a lot on Instagram. If anything like this crops up, people always tag me in, and I'm, I'm forever grateful. Um, these are from Next, and you're like, Emma, you are taking very wintry pyjamas, autumn pyjamas, to Florida, but do remember, it's air conditioned. These rooms can get a little bit chilly. So I thought this would be really, really fun to take to celebrate the Halloween season starting. Um, can you tell I'm quite excited by my my voice? I'd forgotten. I haven't got any swimming. I would have turned up with no swimming costumes. <laughs> I was just sat there, sat there thinking, gosh, I haven't got much. I'm not going to pack any swimming costumes. So I'm going to quickly pack my underwear. I also bought um, Disney socks. Where have they gone? I'm going to have to try and find the socks. But yeah, I need to get a swimming costume and a cover. I cannot believe that I had forgotten a very vital Disney thing. I've just emptied out everything that's in the bags from other trips we've been on. And I'm going to go through. But things I do suggest you take. Hay fever tablets, of course you can get them there. But just if you need to have something to tide you, tide you over. Um, cowpole for children again just to tide you over until you can get to the shop and buy some stuff also make sure you've got some paracetamol plasters of course really helpful if because your shoes might rub and you don't want that ruining your holiday do you um what else i have this little tablet case which has got i think it's got ibuprofen and stuff in and that's good that will go on the carry on with us actually it's got paracetamol hay fever tablets um advil i'll also pack my um hrt so i'm gonna pack the toiletries now i can't begin to express to you it's so muggy and i'm really laughing because i'm like if i am hot in birmingham just packing what am i gonna be like in florida <laughs> i'm literally gonna melt so I'm going to pack the toiletries and um, then we can pick the ears that I plan to take. Okay, a bit of knee for you there, cheeky bit of knee. So the bag -o is packed with um, pastas, medicine, oops, come on little one, toiletries, toothpaste, you know the works, shampoo, conditioner, all the stuff that we might need. Um, so that is good, excited and then... Uh, I will link the bago. Do you know what? I will link below the bago. Um, the see, it's good because it hangs up, and some packing cubes. This I can't link because it was soon came with some shampoo. But I will show you what suntan lotion we're taking. My twelve-year-old. It's quite clear that she's only good with some suntan lotions, so. I've gone for super sensitive stuff. So I've gone for her, the brand Ultrasum, which is supposed to be really, really good. High super sun protection, factor 30. I've got two of those, because obviously we're away for a couple of weeks. So 
don't know how much you'll use. This is for me. <laughs> I did get it for her and then I was like, it says gradual tan. So <laughs> I'll be using that. I've got this for the kids, a nice, simple after some for Ethan and for me. P20, this is an all day. I know you do need to top it up, especially if you go in water and stuff, but it does last quite a long time. So we'll be using the P20. For Erin's face, we used this on our last holiday and it worked really, really well. The P20 sensitive face, factor 50. So that will be good for her. Also, that's easy to pop in our bags. I have got for me, skin and me, factor 50 sunscreen. So I will be using that on my face. I've got some lip balms, sun protection lip balms and aftercare ones. And also this is quite a handy thing to have. This was quite expensive. We had to buy this in like an emergency. But it's just like if you have some sort of irritable skin, it's always good to have on hand. So I am taking that as well. And you may be like, what is Stephen doing? The brand of skincare that Stephen likes is one that you get in America. So we always, from the airport, because we hire a car, we will be going to Walmart or Target and he's going to buy himself some stuff there. So we plan to buy, I think we're going to buy two packs of two, because they usually come in packs of two, and he can bring one home because it's just his favourite. He cannot recreate it with any other spray. I don't know if, I can't remember if it's Copper Toe. I can't remember what the brand's called, but he just loves it. So we will just buy that when we get there. Um, and he can use that, so he will be sorted. Right, what else do I think I need to cover? Shoes. I'm not gonna pack any shoes now because we'll still be wearing shoes this week, but I advise you don't take new shoes to Florida. Don't take, I, I personally would avoid the following. I would avoid Converse. I would avoid Birkenstocks. If you are gonna take Crocs, I'd always also make sure you had a different pair of shoes so you can alternate it. Shoes that I really like wearing are Havi Havianas. Those flip flops are great. Also, of course, trainers, make sure they're comfortable and they're worn in. I do take saltwater sandals. I'm gonna take my Tevas this time, which are like black strap sandals. And I, I, I did buy some trainers specifically for this holiday, even though I've just said, don't wear any trainers. And I have worn them a bit, and I'm not sure I'm gonna take them, but this may be the first holiday you see me in trainers. So I might take some trainers as well. Um, that is the plan. But definitely check out my Instagram, and I will give reviews over there on the shoe wear that we're taking. Just make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you've got good walking shoes. As I said, Converse aren't great. Of course, it does rain. So, you know, if you've got room, maybe pack some flip-flops in your bag so you can pop those on if, you know, your trainers get wet. So, um, I think I've done well today. I'm about 90% done, I think. Um, oh, obviously, there'll be a few things we need to pack towards the day we go in. So, let's go and pack all our ears. The fun bit. This is what we're dealing with. And these have been collected over many years. They're much loved. They're all filed in the corner. Um, and different ones from different places. In fact, if there's any one with long tags, I'm gonna have to cut them off, aren't they? This is a Shop Disney one, for example. This is a Primark one. Uh, there's quite a few Primark ones, actually. So, First of all, I'm going to sort out the ones that the kids have like super requested. So Ethan, his infamous goofy hat, which has been on every trip, he loves it. He wants that. And he wanted the Mickey ears. Those are the things that he definitely wanted. Erin wanted those ones. She wanted those ones. She wanted... There's gonna be a few that we're gonna share. So those ones, that's what me and her are gonna share those ones. She wanted those ones, me and her are gonna share those ones. And she wanted, these are new Primark actually. She wanted that one. Um, 
Okay, I am going away wearing a special outfit for our anniversary, so I need these ones. I want a classic red plain one and a classic red sparkly one. These are actually no do you know what these might be Claire uh, Claire's accessories actually and also sometimes with the Claire's accessories when it's really hot um the, the, the stuff melts so those ones da -da 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 I want Animal Kingdom I want like a goldy one um is that coming off coming off a little bit maybe so I think I'm gonna go those ones and then I think I'm gonna go this for because it's Halloween and as we know I love Halloween so these did not make the cut sorry my baseball hat will go because obviously it's hot Erin's baseball hat will go because obviously it's hot so these ones I'm going to put them away now I'm really laughing about this going through the <laughs> going through the little machine. I'll be like, uh, madam. So this is good. This is going to be a very light hand luggage. So there we go, my loves. I have done a pack. We're pretty much nearly there. Um, I reckon about 10% more. So I'm filming this about four or five days before we go away. So what I will do is like kind of 10, 15 minutes every night, I'll just add bits and bobs. But we're gonna forget something, we always forget something. Um, if you have any other questions about what you think you should pack, or any questions about anything to do with Walt Disney World, please do leave it in the comments. When this video goes live, I will be on holiday, but I will be checking in on the comments. And if I don't answer it straight away, it will be when we get back in a few days time. Before sure to go and follow me on Instagram Boy Mummy of Two to check up you know our trips. I've got highlights of previous trips, Disneyland Paris trips, cruise trips, um, other trips like New York and stuff like that so definitely go and watch those if you want to have some tips or if you just want to watch some lovely Disney magic. I love you lots. As you can imagine when I'm filming this, peak excited, can't wait. I'm just so excited and I tell you who's most excited. Is it my children? Is it Mr. Stephen Conway? Yes. Mr. Stephen Conway is bananas. He's so excited. So in, you, I'm sure you'll have seen some fun stuff with him on Instagram. Right. I love you. See you soon. See you in Florida. I'm there. No.